Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and today I'm going to show you a quick little osmosis uh, demo um, that I set up in my classroom. But before I do that, I should probably talk a little bit about what osmosis is. And so osmosis is simply diffusion, or the movement of water from an area of high water concentration to low water concentration across a semi-permeable membrane. So what does that mean? Well, if you look right here in this U-tube, that's what this is called, uh, this would be a semi-permeable membrane. And what that means is it al only allows a few things to move through. And so you can see right here that the water molecules are small enough that they can pass through, but the solute molecules aren't. Solute molecules could be sugar, could be ions, but uh, essentially you can't make it through. They're too big. And so in relation to this side, the, the left side here we would call the hypertonic side. What hypertonic means is greater levels of, of solutes. And that means over on here, this in relation is going to be called the hypotonic solution. In other words, there's greater salt solute concentration on this side than there is over here. And so these are a relation to each other. And so um, what does that really mean? Well, if we were to zoom in at the molecular level, all of the water molecules are going to actually stick to this solute. So the water molecules are going to grab onto that. And since the water molecules are grabbing onto the solutes, there's not going to be a lot of water on this side. And so we're going to say that the hypertonic side is actually going to be an area where there's low water concentration. So over here, there's less solute. So there's less water molecules grabbing onto the solutes. And so the water is going to flow in that direction. And so however you want to think about it, is the water flowing from an area of high water concentration to low, or is the water flowing towards a hypertonic area? Either of those uh, doesn't matter, as long as you know which way the water is going to flow. And so what's going to happen to the water? Well, the water is eventually going to flow over to the side until the concentration of water on either side of that semi-permeable membrane is exactly the same. At this point, we would say on either side it is now isotonic, if I can spell that right. Isotonic means that water is still flowing back and forth, but it's flowing back at an equal rate. Now if you were to think about this, if you were to watch this, it would seem somewhat magical as the water is just moving up on this side, um, just kind of against gravity and dropping on this side because you can't see the solutes. And so that's pretty cool. Um, so let me show you the setup that I did in class in this osmosis demo find a good color. Um, right here I have dialysis tubing. Dialysis tubing has these tiny little holes in it and so if I were to trace it out we've got dialysis tubing here kind of tied it in a knot at the bottom and so it goes all the way up here and then as we move up the dialysis tubing is empty up here but it's tied all the way up to a big ring stand at the top. So the, so the, uh, so the dialysis tubing is filled down here. Now what's it filled with? It's filled with corn syrup here and so that corn syrup is going to have a high concentration of solute. In this case, it's going to be um, sucrose or sugar. Outside of that, right out here, we have water. We have distilled water. Um, and so if we look at these two in relation to each other, which of the following is hypertonic and which of the following is hypotonic? Well, the hypertonic is going to be the area with more sugar or more solute. And so in this case, that's going to be um, the corn syrup. And so we should have a flow of water in that direction. And so I'm going to turn on the video and then speed it up a little bit and so you can watch it and so you can see the magic of osmosis. Oh.